Okay, we're here at Barbary Castle, the home of the point to point for a two mile handicap. Baragorn, Hunter's Chase, Dark Shadow for Ryan Costello, Agazar for C. Beckwith, Salanches for T. Rogers, Capable Cardinal for Martin Leadham, Sprinty for James Shea, Bunbell for Daniel French, Ains Delight for Ryan Costello, and Glenn Dew for Alex Terry. We'll fight out this two mile event. Here at the home of the point to point, there's the straight into the first, and we've lost one. Agazar's gone. Bad luck there for connections. We're going to be led by Ains Delight. Cape Cardington. Sandwiches. Stream over the second. Bumbill is the poorest of all. Bit of a mistake. But, uh, he's happily bowling along at the rear at the moment. And we're being led by Ains Delight. Sprinty in second in the green suits and the red cap. Inside of that is Capable Cardington. And Salanches and Glindu together. Dark Shadow, stable mate of the leader. And then Bundo at the rear. So it's Ains Delight leads them uphill here. One and a half to, to go. Ains Delight from Sprinty and Capable Cardington. Glindu, Salanches, Dark Shadow and Bumble. And we'll go over the third in that order. With his Ains Delight to the fourth. Ball takes a big high jump, loses a bit of ground and time there. And Sprinty pulls alongside, gets over it better. Capable Cardington's got himself a little bit blocked behind Ains Delight now. Nowhere to go in the room. Glenn Dew's blocking him in as well. Capable Cardington's not being too capable at the moment as they get to the fifth. They lose over it, and it's still Ains Delight now. Got a length and a half advantage from Glenn Dew wide. We've got Sprinty. Oh, well, hey! Ooh, rumba! No, oh, that was a uh, lovely little movement there from everybody. So, with just over a mile of travel, brilliant. Ames Delight still leads us by a couple of lengths from Sprinty, Glendew, and Capable Carding to get uh, together. Haggers are the loose horse. Oh, and the leader going straight through. And we lost one there. Dark Shadow's gone. And poor jump by the leader, Ames Delight. It's now challenged by Capable Cardington. It's a swing left-handed here. It's Ains Delight and Capable Cardington. Glenn Dew, Sprinty, Salanches and Bunbelt. And the remaining six. So we come down to six furlongs to go. And Ains Delight takes it up again into the seven. Takes that one better. Poor jump by Capable Cardington. It's dropped right back down into fifth six now. But anything can win it still from here. We get to the fifth, a ditch, everybody chunks that well, all bar Salanches out wide, but it's Glenn Dew that leads us now from Ains Delight on the inside, pushing through between again is Capable Cardington, not giving up his advantage. And then we've got Sprinty sitting pretty, length or so back to Salanches in the centre of the course, and towards the rear is Bumbell. But up front, Glenn Dew, Capable Cardington, and Ains Delight, these three fight it out for the first three places. We come down three furlongs from home. And with three to jump, it's Glenn Dew from Capable Carnton. Moving well now outside is Salanches. So Salanches and Glenn Dew and Capable Carnton, these three start to pull away from Sprinty. The one falling back now is Ains Delight and Bunbell. But up front, Glenn Dew and Capable Carnton leave Salanches behind now with a furlong and a half left to run. It's Leadham versus. Cherry on oh, Alex Cherry's horse Glenn Dew made a real big mistake there and Capable Cardington's taking him up inside the final furlong now. Gets to the last, takes it well, and another poor jump by Glenn Dew. Capable Cardington's going to take this from Martin Leader. In the end, comfortable through the poor jumping of Glenn Dew in second. Salenches runs on for third. Blue Belt Bundle go up for fourth. Sprinty we lost. I think Ames Delight as well. Amongst that uh, last couple of fences. It was the last. The win for Martin Lee, the well down capable of the takes that from Clint Duke. Alex Jerry Sauce, unlucky on those last two fences. Third was uh, Lanches. Let's see who got over the fourth. So, Capable Cardigan, Martin Leadham takes the Brigorn Hunters Chase here from Glenn Dew, Alex Cherry, Salanches for Tam, Thomas Rogers was third, Sprinty for James Shea was fourth, Bunbell for Daniel French was fifth. Let's move on to another point to point.